Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let's make some blueberry pie. this is kind of impromptu but literally my phone's been blowing up asking me to do this and I don't have much time so I figured before my granddaughter gets here I'm gonna jump on and do it because it's super easy so we'll wait a few minutes and we will get started How's everyone doing this morning? Good, Lisette. I'm glad you were able to catch me. Good morning. Welcome, everybody. If there's anybody new, I see a couple new. My name is Christina, and you're watching at the Rust Covered Cottage. And we're about to make some blueberry pies. Good morning, Jessica. I don't know if my laptop is going to cooperate today. We shall see. Going to Walmart and get that glitter. Go, girl. Good morning, Daisy Creek Trading. What is your first name, dear? Hi, Debbie. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Rose. Thanks. I am literally a true crime junkie. I love it. I love their podcast. I've listened to every episode and I've re-listened. Good morning, Kim. I know, Kathy. Listen, when I posted those blueberry pies, my phone literally blew up to the point where I ha almost had anxiety because I couldn't get to everybody's comment. Like, I, I would scroll through my feed trying to comment to people and it would just keep flipping. People messaging me, they want me to, to do a live, and I really don't have time. So, like, Olivia's going to be here at 1030. I'm like, let's do it now. We've got to do it now. Good morning, Cottonwood Cottage. Mm, I don't remember your first name. Can you please tell me? Welcome, everyone. Good morning. For the new people. Good morning, Shannon. For the new people coming on, my name is Christina. Welcome to my page, Melanie. Okay, Melanie, I'm gonna to try to remember that. Um, we're gonna make some blueberry pies this morning. It's gonna be a quick, a quick one because I got the baby coming at 10.30. So we're gonna do this. But you guys are gonna see how simple it is. I mean, it. they look really cute and they look like they wouldn't be this easy, but they're very easy. So, they're the most real like a, oh thanks Lisette what crime podcast do you listen to I've been trying to find one literally it's called crime junkie Ashley flowers and Britt pray Watt. love them I actually I don't buy subscriptions to things I'm you know pretty cheap I want to listen for free I pay for their thing it's like ad free you get extra bonuses bonus episodes I mean I love them love them I love their voices I love the way they do their podcast give it a try thank you for scattering the rest I appreciate it good morning Marie are you working and peeking on okay good morning everyone um, I'm glad you all can come on in short sh such short notice but we're gonna whip up a couple pies real quick before the baby gets here my name is Christina. Good morning, my little rustic farmhouse. I forget your first name. Give me some time. I promise I'll get all this. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, Kathy, you're working too. Well, I'm glad you guys are looking. I, are you talking to me? Oh, no. Okay. So again, if you don't see the live, 
the red live button you're catching replay let me know you're watching hashtag replay please and if you see the red live button you see me in person i'm doing good stephanie how are you good morning deb tina marie okay so you guys simple 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 all you need is some type of dish i get these from the dollar tree they have these along with the the bread loaf pan or the, like the loaf pans dollar 25 each so i have two left Good morning, Debbie. I can't see what you're saying, but I see, oh, good morning. Good morning, Gina. Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you're here. We need some air dried clay. Well, you don't actually need this, but I had it because I made the pumpkin pies like um, Tracy Campbell from My Sweet Home Liv Living. I did the plaster Paris inside and the air dried clay is the crust these aren't all finished I'm gonna do some whipped cream on top just a little dollop little dollop of daisy so my point was I have the air dry clay now I'm not gonna be able to paint them with you because they do have to set and dry real life real crime buddy oh I'm gonna have to look that up thank you so I'm just gonna show you, I did it just like Tracy. Just take a little bit, you make them however big you want. Take a little bit of the air dry clay, which I did get at Walmart, and I think this was five something. Oh, good Debbie, yes, do it. A dollop of daisy, it's like you have to, when you, you have to. So I make this into a little, I almost said bowl. Welcome everybody that just joined. For the whipped cream, I'm gonna use that lightweight spackling and I'm gonna mix some a little bit of white paint with it and then I put it into like a sandwich bag, cut the tip off, like barely cut the tip off and then I'll do a, a little dollop, like all my moves this morning. Okay, so we're just gonna have a little ball and what she shows on her videos, you just hold it between your, your, sorry, my nose is itching, your index finger and your thumb finger, and you're gonna push a toothpick in and then kind of draw it up and out. Cause you know what the tip of a blueberry or like the top of a blueberry looks like. So do that like four times. So it looks like a true blueberry. I'm gonna try to show you. Can you guys see that? Hi, Tish, I'm glad you caught me live. So, you know, it looks like the top of a real blueberry. So then, like I did three on each one, so I would make, I'm gonna need to make six of these and let them dry. And then I'm gonna tell you, if you don't wanna write this down, you can catch it on the replay, how to mix the perfect color of paint to make it look like a true blueberry. Um, she had consulted with somebody, I forget, some, somebody, I forget the name, I wasn't familiar with it, but you use a majority of navy blue, and then you're going to have a deep, like a, like, um, like a royal purple, like a deep purple, you'll put a little bit of that in there, and then just a dab of black, like a dab, and then you just mix it all up. I mix it up in one of these little yogurt jars. I keep those around. And then I just put them on a plate and with a glove, I just lightly rolled them. You don't want them over saturated. They have to be completely dry. Like comp I'm talking like maybe eight hours. Um, and then that's it. I just took my glove and I kind of just rolled them in my hand to get the excess paint off. And then I let them set to dry. And then they turn out like that. Which honestly, let's be real. These look like some real blueberries, don't they? Okay guys, we gotta get rolling. So what we're gonna do first is I have my coffee stained muslin. All you new people coming on, welcome to my page. My name is Christina. I appreciate you so much for being here. I'm glad you're here. 
Thank you, Marsha. Okay, if I don't catch any any comments, will my will my friends please help me out? Because I really need to fly through this. Not fly, but I want to make sure that I get it done for you. I don't do anything with these dishes because I like the outside of it. I think it's nice. It looks like a, a, a real nice pie dish. The inside, I just leave it the way it is because no one's going to see it. So we're going to trace this. What I You're going to need like about an inch extra around it. And then when I cut it, I cut about, you know, I trace it true to size. And then I, when I cut it, I cut about an inch extra. So that's what we're going to do right now. Good morning, Kathy. Hi, Faye. Welcome. Hi, Joanne. Yeah, it's chilly here, too. It's in the 30s. Cold. Okay, so remember, when you're cutting, leave about an inch around. Because you don't want it to be tight. you got to, you know, to have it puffed up a little bit in the center, you got to leave yourself some wiggle room. Nothing completely accurate here. Imperfect is perfect for me. So see, I just cut about an inch around it. And we'll do the same thing with the other one. How many blueberries? I did three, Debbie. I did three. Look how real that looks. It's unbelievable to me. I was never into these fake bakes, but I fake bakes, but I like them. Thanks to Tracy. Good morning, Kelly. Welcome. Good morning, Gloria. I'm glad you're here. I'm so glad to see all these new names. Welcome. If you like what you see, if you don't already follow me, I hope that you you will and you'll stick around. Be part of our friend group here. Shannon and Lisette, they help me with my my private share group, which if you're not a part of, please consider going and joining. It's called the Rusty Crew. If one of you can pin it up there so people will know what it is. Hi, Doni. How are you? Good morning, Glenda. Good morning, Lori. Hi, Karen. Um, if you guys ask something and I don't see it, hopefully they'll be able to answer it for me. Okay. We need some polyfill. And listen, you guys, my dog chews up toys so fast just to get the squeaker out, like literally in five minutes. He's a, he's a Morky, but he's a killer. So I go around and I save the fluffing from his dog toys because it's perfectly good. And why throw it away when I'm gonna need to buy it? So I save it. And we're going to kind of just put that down in there. We don't want it overstuffed, but it, we, we do want it full. Actually, I shouldn't even have ripped it apart. I think we're going to go with like that. That way, when it's pushed down a little bit, you'll like by the crust, it's still going to have that little bit of mound. So I'm just going to lift that right back up. Put some glue in there and put it down in. You guys, just for time's sake, I'm just going to work on the one because I want to get one completed before my little wild child gets here. So then I'm just going to turn it with the ink side down and I'm going to hold it lightly. I'm not going to press down hard. Welcome, Julie. Hi, Tammy. You guys, if I missed you, I'm sorry. I will go back and read the comments. So I'm just putting a bead of glue around the, the dish. I keep wanting to call it a pan, but it's not a pan. It's a dish. And I'm just going to press it down.
then I'll turn it. And remember, you don't want to do it tight. You want to let it loose on there. Just a bead of glue. Or you can let it drop over the side, whatever you choose. And then push it down. Can anybody tell me if there's a Rhonda price on here? She was asking me to do this and asked me to tag her in it, and I did, but I don't know if she got it. Good morning, Christy. Yes, it's coffee stained muslin. Oh, it's so easy. Hi, Summer. I'm glad you could catch me live. We're making a blueberry pie, Summer. And all you missed so far was putting the polyfill in the dish, and now we're gluing the coffee stained muslin on. to figure out how to pin the rusty crew but I'm not sure how to do it. Shannon, do you know how to do it? Good morning, Summer. How are you? We're making a fake bake. Okay, so once that's all glued, and it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It does not have to be perfect because remember, you have the crust going around the outside of it. Christine, you I don't think she's here. Oh, well, at least she can catch the replay. I felt so bad. I'm like, I have I have to take an hour. I have to do this for them, like literally. And then I woke up, and I woke up to 148 notifications and 12 messages asking me, not all of them, but most of them asking me to do this. So I'm like, I'll do it before Olivia gets here. Hi, Tish. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, Summer, they're so easy. So easy. Okay, so then next, what we're gonna do, I'm trying to find a good coffee stain. Actually, that doesn't matter. Well, yeah. Okay, see, I have this real rich coffee stain, like it turned out very well. This is what we're gonna do for the crust. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna cut like maybe a half to three quarter of an inch slits. And then we're gonna use that to make our crust. And you guys, we're also gonna brush on some of that yummy coffee grunge of Tracy Campbell's because coffee grunge is life, right? Crazy Mom Creations, I forget your name. I'm so, 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 so sorry. You guys, it's so hard to repeat everybody's names with their pages. I apologize. If you guys want to comment what your name is, then I'll go through the comments, and I'm going to make myself a little cheat sheet. Because I hate to ask constantly what your name is. But it's difficult. You all know. Okay, so I do leave some strings because I like strings, but... Lisa, okay. Jessica, coffee grunge is life. You are right about that. This is my third container that I've made just since I found Tracy, Tracy's recipe. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, we're gonna put a bead of hot glue. I'm gonna set myself up this way. We're gonna start by laying it down like this. Do you see what I mean? We're gonna start like this. Yes, the fabric is, I coffee stain all my muslin. Actually, I coffee stain a lot of my fabric just because when I like something, I go hard. <laughs> and then I'm gonna make a bead of glue. I don't do big beads at a time. I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna try to let you see. I'm gonna start like that. 
and then we're just going to crease it and push down crease it and push down so you get that you guys see And then I just do, you know, a little bit at a time because I don't want the, the glue to dry and then have all that excess glue build up. So that is what you just continue to do all the way around the pie. And if it doesn't, if it's not placed right, lift it up and replace it. Who's calling you Putin Tane? I can call you Putin Tane. I'll do that. Okay, another bead of glue. You guys surprised at how easy this is? Like literally so easy. It's easier than making a real one. My husband, he was like drooling over the apple pie ones. He's like, now I want apple pie. Then he was sitting here the other day and he looked over and he goes, you know, we need real pies in this house now. I don't care if it's Sarah Lee. <laughs> so see what we're doing here? Do you have the recipe for the coffee grunge? I do. Um, Shannon. Could you... Could you go to Tracy's page? She has it posted at the top of her page. Or can you link her page? How about link in my sweet home living's page? And anybody that, that goes there, it's up in the featured part of her page. You'll see like tarts, pantry tarts. And then I think it's the next one over. It's called um, Coffee Grunge Recipe. It's like coffee grounds, water, vanilla, and cinnamon. I think it's a cup of hot water, a half a cup of co instant coffee granules, two tablespoons of vanilla, ouch, and two tablespoons of cinnamon, I believe. But you don't have to search down through her page. All you have to do is look up at the top of her page. She has it in the featured section. Good morning, Regina. Okay, Summer, she um, put My Sweet Home Living's link there. Guys, hop over to her page, and if you don't follow her, oh, I don't even know how you're living life. And if you have a page and you're not on it, feel free to... Um, Put a link for us. I want everybody to help everybody out, support each other, because that's what it's all about. I will never tell you not to come on my page or my lives, only on your profile, because listen, we all need to help each other. Okay, so I ended it with it being straight. Can you see? And now I'm gonna take my fabric strip and I'm gonna fold that under like I did in the beginning. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. Just lay it down, fold it backwards, lay it down, fold it backwards. I put some of my fall decor out last night, so when Olivia gets here, she is gonna be one happy little mama. She just loves all the pumpkins and the leaves. So, she'll be happy. Okay, we're done with that. And what I do, like if there's pieces that are like flapped 
too much like say that one right there see how it's just up a little bit I just go in with a dot of hot glue and I push it down like I don't push it completely down because I still want it to be up a little bit but I don't want it poking straight up like that so I'll just put a little dot of hot glue and do it like that the drink oh my god dry mouth I'm talking so much Chrissy it really is Stephanie hey my girl surprise surprise Oh, Tish, thank you. You're so sweet. Okay, next. Next, next, next. And see what I mean about, like, the fullness of the pie? You saw how much I put in, like, an entire dog toy? It actually, I would prefer that to be a little f fuller. See how this one is? See how it's nice and rounded? It's got a nice mound on top. This one isn't like that, but this is my preference. If you don't care about a flat pie, thank you, Shannon. There's the recipe for the grunge, you guys. Screenshot it or just go to, to Tracy's page and give her a holler. Tell her, tell her I sent you over. Okay, now for the yummy goodness. The yummy, yummy, yummy goodness. Keep this in the refrigerator. I put it in a mason jar. After it's been in there for a while, you're gonna see the bottom, how it all settles. I just take the lid off, put it in the mic for like 30 seconds, give it a good shake, and it's good to go. Hi, Brenda. So I take this. You don't want it to be saturated, but I lightly just brush over. I don't even hold my brush flat down. I'm just brushing lightly. Because I don't want big blobs. Is that the word I'm looking for? Blobs? Is that it? I don't want big blobs of it. I want it to kind of look like pie crust. And then I'm going to take it over the top and I'm just going to brush it lightly in different directions. And you'll see as this dries, it does dry darker. It will look more real. See, so kind of like right now, it doesn't end up staying like that. It will look more like this. So we're gonna give her a good old dry. What time is it? I feel like I'm on an event. Maybe you guys will get to see her. See if she's in her shy mood or her, I'm not shy. Well, hello, Crafty Peep. I forget your name too. I'm glad you're here. Girl, I'm drinking mine too. Let's all take a sip. And you can see already how it's darkened. But I really kind of got, you know, a little freaked out when I first did it. And see how it just looks like all spots on there? Don't fret. Just do it very lightly. And then once it's completely dry, I'll show you what you do. Because I forgot to, when I was telling people, I do brush a little bit of cinnamon on too. To help give it that browning look. Good morning, Brittany. How are you, my dear? Cheers, Stephanie. Oh, I know I've missed so many comments. I promise I'll go back. When she goes down for a nap, I will go back, you guys. Just really wanted to do this. Like, I was, I was like, you guys wouldn't believe how many people have asked me to do this. These are actually easier than the apple pie because you don't have to cut the sponge off and put them all in that paint. This is simple. Okay, so depending on how brown you want your crust, remember, it's going to darken. As it dries, it will darken, kind of like that Distress Oxide does. Now, I have, 
I have both, so don't get too worried about which one you have. I have the Mod Podge. This is a sealer, but I spray it on there to get my um, diamond dust to stick, and then I spray it over it as a finishing, as the finishing spray. So before we do that, we're going to take our cinnamon, maybe, I'm going to give this a little spray. This is high gloss, but that's because I've had this forever and that's all they have. This one's a matte. Doesn't matter which one you use. I'm just going to sprinkle a little cinnamon. Let it sit there for just a sec. I'm missing questions, I'm sorry. You just may become the pie queen. <laughs> queen. Rust covered pies, there you go. We can sprinkle the pies. And then I'm just gonna take this over my garbage can, you guys. And then kind of smooth that around. If you're not happy with that look, put a little bit more a little bit more on or just like a quarter of the container brush it around a little bit I do it for smell and for color you do whatever makes you happy because this is your kitchen thanks Christy I know Stephanie that's what I thought too and look how nice I don't know if you can really tell with the light but I, I don't know. I'm a little OCD sometimes. If there's a bare spot, I don't want there to be a bare spot. So, like, sometimes it takes me a minute. Thanks, Teresa. So we have that. Done with that. Now, let me think. Done with that. Done with the crust. Now I'm going to spray a little more of that on. And this is diamond dust. I just put it in a different container so I can shake it. But I got the small round container of it with the screw top. I had a spice container. I put it in here because you shake it anyway. So I'm going to spray a little bit more of the spray adhesive. We're going to take the diamond dust and just lightly sprinkle. Lightly sprinkle. Can you guys see... Now, I, I forgot to mention, I did see this on Pinterest from Mother Time. She does amazing work. Um, but then I kind of combined it with what Tracy does, what I wanted to do, and Mother Time. So go to Mother Time and look her up. And she basically does the same thing. She's just not as grungy as what I like. She, she does some two different types of glitters, but I just did diamond dust. So there's a little bit on there. I'm gonna spray lightly again. And I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit more. Little tiny bit. See? And then I'm gonna do the last spray. And that's all there is to that. And then ladies, all you have to do is once your little blueberries are hardened, or if you have blueberry picks, I don't know if they're in, I don't know if you'd be able to find them right now, get like the blueberry picks from Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or order them on Amazon, I don't know. But you can do that. I thought about using like craft beads and painting them the blue. Um, but like I said, I made the pumpkin pie so I already had the air dried clay so I did it that way so and then I just took a piece of this coffee stain muslin that we used and I used my stamp I made a little tag mother time made a cute little bow on hers I think like you could take some real cute um, navy homespun make a cute little bow the possibilities are endless you know do what you like make it your own but that's how easy it is to make these pies easy peasy blueberry squeezy let me see if you are displaying these in your kitchen do not use the diamond dust why it has glass shreds better safe than sorry it is glass shreds um, but I don't know 
nothing comes off because I sealed it with the Mod Podge. So you do whatever you guys need to do. They have flower picks with just navy balls. That would be cute. Thanks, Shannon. Mother time. It's it's mother, and this is all one word. T H Y M E. Mother time. She has a blog. She's on Pinterest. She's she's on Insta. She's everywhere. She's pretty. Uh, her name's Jennifer, I believe. But she doesn't dirty it up like our girl Tracy Campbell. So we have to have the coffee grunge. I love it. So I decided to make mine. And you know what? If that crust isn't dark enough for you when it's dry, or you can take your Distress Oxide Wax with your little paddle brush. I did this with the clay ones to make it look like, to make it look like it's perfectly browning. But you could go over this with your, your waxes, take your paddle brush, go over lightly to your desired level of brown. I give you the basics. You guys take it, run with it, make it your own, and you have to share. Go to the Rusty Crew, or tag me if you share it to your page or something. Just let me know because I'm anxious to see everybody's pies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will ask for forgiveness instead of permission with my husband. My husband, he's like, you're killing me, honey. It'll be okay. But the blueberries, they really do look so real when you do them with the clay. If you can't find the picks and if you have the air dry clay, you have it out, make them. It's fun. Yeah, there's a lot of fake bakes now. Listen, I've never ever gotten into that. Like, I don't decorate my house with it, but they're beautiful. And like, everybody loves them. Like, I made the apple pies. I have one left. They, they all sold. I already sold both of the blueberries that I made yesterday. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Deb. And, you know, everybody... Yes, add it to your list, Stephanie. Everybody does things differently. This is just my take of seeing different ones out there. Um, but you guys personalize it. Make it your own. I'm going to go so I can get this cleaned up before Olivia gets here. Thank you guys all for joining me. I am so happy that you were all able to make it. Tag me. Share in the Rusty Crew. Let me see your pies. You guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.